nuts. It's easy, but it takes a little longer. All the wiring. Control spa, pool, heaters, auto fill, lights, schedule for everything. Even accessible through your smartphone and stuff too? Yes, sir. If you're out of town and you want to come to a heater pool, I mean, not now, right now, mm -hmm. but in winter. Connect Wi-Fi. Let's put it up here. The full color pen. What's the instructions? You see the colors. Red, yellow, green, and black. The front port. It tells you the colors right there too. Red, yellow, green, black. Yeah, this is a temp sensor, it's pretty short. And it tells you right here, water, solar, air. So this one, actually just put it in there.
water air in uh, the other one, the solar, that's for our heat pump. Hmm. If we had a heat pump, we would have to connect another sensor in there. Hmm. But we're not. We doesn't have this. So. You have to go here. It's called the fireman switch. Cut it. I mean, take it out. And then, usually, some people have the parts. I like to use this one. So, cut it in half. they're tight enough people don't don't like some people say oh don't use that because it'll get messed up only get only gets messed up if you don't turn up the, the power oh that's why because you can burn the, the fuse it has a little fuse in it right there and if you cut the if you cut the wires with the power you burn the fuse and that's when it gets that's when it gets Ugly, but nah. If you if you turn everything off, turn everything off. Just make sure, and then connect it. Just place them up. Should be good. This one, like I said, doesn't matter. Just the communication wire. You can use any wires. Heater. Uh, temperature, water, antenna, and pump. There's nothing else. So, after this, let's put it away. Just to know that this, the one with the tape, is low voltage. It's just a common, I mean, just a common wire. 
so loud. Now we feed it. Basically, you gotta find some 120, piggyback off of that. Mm -hmm. Here, dual voltage with 20 C door for a wiring diagram. Control transformer wiring. If you want 120, I'm gonna do black for 120, violet for neutral, and yellow cap. Power. Need is just a, a cable that takes in power and one cable that takes it out.
So this is gonna give me power all the time. To the pump, to the light on me. And then this one, it's gonna be on the me that. Turn on, turn off. That's the to activate the, the relays. There's a relay, there's a relay. So I added the number one, which is for the light, which that clicking should have turned off. Should have turned on the light. Now let's turn everything off so we can put it back together. So automation done? All done, man. Nice. Turn it on, make sure everything works properly, and that's a wrap. Okay. I heard one. Yeah? Yeah, I did hear one little. Is that normal or is that something? That's normal, man. Okay. As long as you don't see the red light right there, that's good. It's green, so I mean, oh. go. <laughs> yeah. Green means go. Go, dear, go, go. So that pop is just the electricity just yes, sparking sir. up. Mm -hmm. This is the relay on this thing. Transformer and all that. Is the pump on, bro? Yep. yep. Right, so now, done, done, done. Just check the light real quick. Because if, if something goes wrong, the first thing that's gonna get burnt is a little antenna. So you already have power and everything. If I cut it, poof, mm. it's gonna explode because I'm cutting power. Mm -hmm. So what do you do? Disconnect it. Now you don't have no power. Mm. Boom. See? Mm -hmm. Nothing. Fresh. Same thing. Colors: red, yellow, green, black. Or black, green, yellow, red, whatever. Mm -hmm. Look at that. We got power. Yeah, it seems lights sparking up. Yep, those lights. And then the third one, it lights up when I connect the, the, the thing inside. The Wi-Fi. Everything's done, so program it. So auto, you go, settings, clock. First thing you do, clock. You put the date, PM, there you go, man. So that's that, Pantera pump. Now you have to tell the, the, the system what kind of pump do you have. If you if you have a single, a single speed, doesn't really matter. You just connect the power and that's it. But since this is a smart uh, pump, you have to tell it, oh, it's a, we have an intelligible pump. So you go Pantera pumps, click arrow, and then pump number one. Click it, none, and then you tell it what kind of pump it is. None, BF, BF BFS, BSF, I mean. And so there you go, BSF. And then put yes, I mean, just click the arrow and then go back. And then it tells you flow of speeds. So here you have to, you have to, you only have to worry about two things, high speed and low speed, because you don't have any, you don't have any water features, you don't have any any anything that that has to work with it. I mean, they have this, but they don't have automation for it. So the flow high speed, they would have to run in high speed. Let's just worry about two things: high speed, low speed. Circuit circuit one. You want RPMs? We do usually 1500. Just that's low speed. Just water cycling, and then 
do pull. Now we have to go back, pump, and teleclone. Mm, he pump, check on it's okay. Here spa, we don't have it. Pool, that's number one. Ox one, that's light. Since ox one is light, we have to look for the name light. Thunder L. Let's go. High speed. And there it is, lights. And then let's go to ox number two. And ox number two, since it's free, you don't have anything like a uh, air blower or nothing. That one can be, that one can be high speed. So you, you look for high speed under H. Or yeah, I'll do high speed. You can do cleaner, but let's do high speed. High speed. There you go. And then the rest, you don't have. If you had something else, like I said, an air blower, a secondary pump, or uh, whatever, another pump, you would add. You have two more spaces. So I, I select aux number two as high speed. So I go back and then I have to go back again to Pantera pump. Again, flow speeds. And then I already have one, which is pool 1500. So I have to add another one. And then I go do the same thing, RPMs. And this one usually we do, I like to do 2900 when it has a floor system. But because there's so much water that you can move through floor system, it's not like a cleaner or like a returns with where you oh, but you have the water feature. So I'll do 3100s just because it has a couple jets, a little stronger, and just press the arrow until you get to 31. And if they don't like it, if the customer thinks that that's not enough water, they're gonna be able to change it on their phone. And then here, name, pool, lights, high speed. There you go. And then we have to go back again. So good names, okay. So good folks. Pretty much it, man. So let's just put that part together. So dope. ARV. Okay, so here's the thing. It might leak <laughs> the filter. It just out of um that's how they're coming out, some of them. But hopefully this one doesn't. Alright, so now you see how it says the display not active? Mm -hmm. Because it's already under my control. I control the pump now. I mean the system pretty much. Okay. It doesn't run by itself. It's, it's weighted because you can press anything. Mm -hmm. And it's not gonna turn on because it's working with that. Yeah. So now, if I press number <clears> two, <throat> oh, which I need to put water in there first. So I put water in the pump. And go from there. We have to tighten the engineers a little better. Did 
you can see, there's nothing leaking over here. 